Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of the Passionate Spinner podcast. My name is Tracy, and I really, really hope that some people might want to watch this, because I love podcasts myself, and I've been thinking about doing this for about two years now. So I finally found my courage and decided to just go ahead and do it. What you will notice really fast about me is that I'm not a native English speaker, I'm German. But I thought if I did this in German, there would be about 5% of the knitters who could watch it. And if I did it in English, there would be way, way more people. So I'm going to try and not make fun of myself every episode by butchering stuff. But I cannot guarantee anything. So let's jump right in. What I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Shapely Boyfriend cardigan. It's a free pattern from Nitty. In the deep fall issue of 2011, it's a pattern by Stephanie Chappelle, and I knitted it out of my own hand spun, the stripy stuff, and accented it with just one black spud and Chloe sweater yarn. Okay, now what I'm, what I finished, I thought about calling it just knitting in the past because it's gone. Well, not gone, but done. I just finished a pair of fingerless mittens. For my sister. The pattern is called Spencer. It's by Christy McLeod. It was in the Knitter issue 22, which was quite a while ago. And they have it in here as man's mittens. But I really think the pattern is very unisex and everyone can wear those. So I made them for my sister out of some um, leftover Bollmeise that I had in my stash. And as it's Christmas time and the gift knitting is everything right now, I knit a Falala Fred and he is very cute. He's going to go to my mother-in-law because she likes to decorate stuff. And I think that's a very sweet piece of decoration. I used the same Bollmeise yarn. And as I did for the mittens, I used some US2 2.75 millimeter needles because that's my go-to needle for fingering weight stuff. And that is all that I have finished lately for knitting. But I am knitting stuff right now, of course. The first thing I'm working on, and I'm going to work on for about the next 25 years, is my Outlander project. Those are the socks that I'm working on right now while reading the Outlander series by Diana Gableton. Um, I started about two weeks ago, maybe three, and finished a pair of socks already, and now I'm working my way through some other stuff or some other socks that I started and I finished those two recently but I'm gonna talk about all of the yarn that I use whenever I finish a pair because if I go through this every week we all will have three hours of talking and not showing anything so you will hear about this project as it works itself out I'm also knitting a Kala Infinity Scarf by Pam Powers. It's a paid pattern on Ravelry. And the original looks like this. It's a very, very nice cowl. And I have wanted to work this for myself for ages now. But I'm not quite sure if the yarn that I chose is good or not. I'm using the Austermann Whisper, which is a... Um, wool cotton blend and it looks like nothing right now I'm sure it will look better whenever it's done but right now it's just you know a mess um, I'm not sure if I like it it's two different shades of purple a natural white and a light turquoise and the pattern itself is super easy to work but like I said I'm not quite sure if it if I'm in love with it or not. If not, I can always give it away or 
you know, I don't know yet. The coolest thing about this project, though, is the needles that I'm using. They're from a German needle maker. They're called Holz und Stein, which is basically a uh, wooden stone. And they are those awesome olive wood needles. They are, they are a um, 4.5 millimeter, which is a US 7, and they just are amazing. It's olive wood, it's a very nice join. They are perfect. And I just ordered another pair for Christmas. Because you can never have enough needles, right? So, I hope they will come very soon. And the other real active project that I have, besides about a million started things that are just lingering, is a baby blanket out of um, Schachenmeier baby wolle, which is like baby yarn from coats. And it currently looks like this. I have no idea, but I think you can see it. I'm just using the generic how to lock cabin pattern by Mason Dixon. It's super simple to work and it's my in-between projects knit. So whenever I don't know what to do, I'm knitting on this. And um, it's on a US4, a 3.5 millimeter needle, and I'm using my die craft needles. They're the Ver Vermont Apple. And I love those needles. They are the best needles I have ever worked with. Uh, I'm very glad to have a full set of those because I ordered some more tips about a year ago, maybe, and I'm still waiting on them because they are quite loved by the knitting community. And that is basically everything I'm working on right now, knitting ways. What I want to work on next is a bluebird of happiness out of some hand spun leftovers for my cats. I have two cats. And they love toys and they love catnip, so I decided to do Birds of Happiness for them, filled with catnip for Christmas, because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> also, I'm going to knit two Boo Crew thingy toys for my sisters-in-law in ornament size, so they can hang it on their trees. And, of course, because I'm crazy, I'm going to knit a zombie. I'm going to knit this one here for my future brother-in-law because he gave me this book for my birthday this year. And uh, ever since he wanted one of the zombies and I'm going to make it for him. And I decided to jump in the Little Bobbins Knits Christmas Eve socks knit along. But I totally forgot to bring my yarn over here. I'm going to use lollipop yarns in a fa la 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 colorway. And I'm just going to knit plain vanillas because that's all I do for socks. Plain vanillas. Because I need some brainless knitting when I'm out and about. Um, now on to spinning. I have been spinning a lot lately. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already. But um, every year after Tour de Fleece, I stop spinning for months because I'm all spun out and I don't want to work on anything with my wheels. So whenever spinning, my spinning mojo returns, it comes back with a vengeance and I cannot stop sitting on my spinning wheels. So I did spin quite a lot of yarns. First up, I spun this, which is not into the world. It's just a tag, which is very handy. It's... um. I spun a very thick and thin single from a bat that I got from a German um, bat maker. Her name or her, her shop's name is Ladies Turn and I really love it. It's beautiful. It has browns and pinks and purples and oranges and it's just amazing. I already know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to weave a table runner to go under a very nice candle holder that I have just for some decoration. The next thing I spun was another bat, this time from um, 
Spin City UK looks like this. I applied it with a brown lace yarn that I have and I really really like it. It's a very bulky yarn again. I only got 177 meters to 128 grams so it's a little over four ounces and 100, about an, 190 yards. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this but I love it. And I totally forgot with this I have about four and a half ounces and 130 yards. So it's very, very, very thick. Then, because I'm just in the mood for spinning bats, I spun those two skeins of yarn. They are made from on the round bats that I got from Etsy. It's the bubblegum banded colorway, and it's very pretty. And again, I applied it with a commercial lace weight yarn. This time it was a bright orange, but it's such a thin yarn that you might not be able to see it. And altogether, in both skeins, I got 375 yards for 190 grams, which I have no idea. It's maybe seven ounces. Don't know. I don't know the ounces stuff. Sorry. And the last thing I finished is my favorite, favorite hand spun that I've made ever. Isn't that just stunning? It is so beautiful. It's from a loop bat called Rusty Nail. Um, first, I wanted to ply it again with a brown lace weight. But then I decided it's so pretty. I'm going to keep it as singles and knit something gorgeous out of it for myself. I got... Um, 632 yards out of 5 ounces. And it's just amazing. So that's all what I finished for spinning, which is, you no, know, I don't spin that much every week, just every now and then. So I might continue working on this one. It's a sweater's quantity that I've been spinning for quite a while now. It's a fiber from Collinet Fibers or Collinet Yarns in England. The colorway is Frangie Penny. I'm not sure if it's available right now, but I had, I, I think I had six bumps of it and it's my fourth bobbin and I have two more to go and then just applying and I will be done. And I really hope to have it done soon. Although I'm not going to work a sweater out of it right away because I'm not working on sweaters for myself for a while. New stuff. I got some very cool new stuff this week. First off, I got some yarn in a secret Santa swap that I did with my local knitting group. And I got this. And it's bright. It's very, very, very bright. It's Lang Jawohl Magic Degradé. And, you know, Germans don't do colorway names. It's just a number, but it's gorgeous. It's a single, and I'm going to knit myself some kind of shawl with it. I don't know yet which, but I will find something on Ravelry because there's everything you need to find. And I got a skein of hand spun because I love hand spun, especially from others. I know I'm a spinner myself and I can spin all the stuff I want, but knitting with hand spun that you got gifted from someone is so special and I love that. I have no idea what it is. I think it's a merino, maybe with some silk, feels like it. I don't know how much it is or how many meters it has, but I'm gonna knit myself a TGV. All right. I decided on that. It's gorgeous. And then, because I'm a bad girl sometimes when it comes to buying stuff, I had to buy fiber in the update by Melino Liesel. She's like my fiber hero in Germany. She does such amazing things. All of her fibers come in 8 ounce bumps, at least. And all of them are just 
funny. So I got this one. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the back because I want you to be able to see how amazing it is. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? It's a brown and white BFL blend with um, C-Cell. And it's 250 grams. Then, because, you know, buying only one thing is not what I do, I got this one. Which is BFL Bamboo and Soy Silk. 250 grams again. It's just... And here comes my favorite. I really want to spin this right away and keep it forever in its entire prettity that it is right now. Oh, it is so pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm sure it's going to make an epic shawl. Something I can wear every day whenever I'm cold because it's awesome. Again, that's the BFL with a white BFL, a brown BFL, and the C cell, and it's gorgeous. 250 grams. I'm in love with this. It's so pretty. And I decided on featuring a indie dyer or an indie of the week every week, because as I said, I'm in Germany, so I have some other indie stuff than most of you will have. And um, I thought I might oops, introduce some of my favorites. My Indie of the Week is Milino Liesel. I'm going to link her in the show notes so you can have a look at her stuff. But I have to warn you, it's like gone. She puts it up there and it's gone. But it's worth it. Another thing that I just got myself yesterday and I cannot show you anything until like the end of February is the Isola Shawl Club. She's doing a shawl club for the very first time with yarn and pattern and everything you need to go. And I cannot wait for my first package to come because I love her stuff. I love everything she has done so far and I'm very, very excited about this. But what I can show you is a book that I just bought. It's Yokes by Kate Davies. And I flipped through it. It's awesome. It has a whole section just about the technique of yokes and what different styles of yokes there are and um, the history of it, where it came from. And then there are the patterns. And I really, really like the patterns. Um, I'm not going to do a real review of, of this book because I'm... I'm sure I will lose words that I would need for doing this, but I can highly recommend it. It's a very, very nice book, and you get the ebook version free when you buy the book, which is awesome as well. That almost brings me to the end of my very first episode. There's only one little thing left that I want to show, and I just started this yesterday. It's a cross stitch. It's Rocky and the Apple Tree. I got the pattern, or rather the kit, by Sewing Seed at Etsy.com. And I just got started and finished a little bit of the tree. I want to have this done soonish because I have two more of our kits that I want to do. And I started the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery um, sampler the Once Upon a Time Stitch Templar, and I'm still on January, because, um, yeah, I lost my interest in it. But, as I'm going to have a baby in May next year, I want to finish those things and hang it in there, or her, or his, I don't know yet, in the baby's room, because I think that's just super cute. Now, the very first, no, not first, the very last thing I want to talk about is my knitting journey. How did I come that I'm sitting here? I started knitting when I was about 10 because we had to learn at school. 
which was fine by me because my mom has been knitting and I wanted to try it out myself for a while now. And I learned knitting at school when I was 10. I liked it, but didn't, you know, I was a 10 year old kid and didn't get hooked on it until I wanted to learn how to knit socks, which I did when I was about 12 years old. And um, I had to ride my bike to my mother's colleague to show me how to cast on and work the cuff. And I was there the next day for the heel and the next day for the foot and the day after for the, for the toe. And I've basically been knitting socks ever since, which makes my sock count very high. I knit about or between 20 and 40 pairs a year. And I started knitting obsessively about 10 years ago. So my sock drawer is not only full, but it's overflowing, as is my husband's. But I'm still knitting socks because I love it. And I don't give a lot of them away because... Let's face it, knitting a pair of socks is a lot of work and a lot of love. And I'm not willing to part with that just for anybody. So um, I started, like I said, knitting obsessively about nine, ten years ago. And I have been writing a German knitting blog for almost nine years now. And I'm going to continue doing that because it's for my German peeps. And I don't want to take that away from anybody. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want me to do or say, or please let me know. Again, I'm not going to apologize every week for, you know, losing words or making fun of myself because of language. But um, I really hope it's not that bad. And... I hope I will do this again. Bye.